Good morning, fellow survivors. Welcome to day three of the One Life Challenge. This is Tom Haswell, the second class elitist. We made it through the night, and I'm about to make it through this armored safe, and then we'll see what was been inside for the last three days. Uh, we're going to let those last couple hits wait. That is morning, so that means it is now a safe time to start cooking some food again. Uh, we've got a grill in here that we made last night on our handy dandy forge, and... We are just going to grill up a lot of meat because there's nothing better for breakfast than some nice grilled meat. So that's going to cook for a while. You can see over here in the forge, um, I made a whole bunch of forged iron. I have made some iron bars that we're going to use for support downstairs in a little bit. Um, I made a whole bunch of iron arrow heads so that I could make up all the iron arrows that we can carry. Uh, I threw all of the brass that I had in, all of the iron, we just burned through it, uh, all of the clay, which is still melting down. Go ahead and take that out. And we will put that in here for now. Uh, I'm carrying the springs with me because I'm hoping to find two more steel uh, short pipes so that I can make a blunderbuss. Uh, I made all the blunderbuss ammo last night as well. I tried to make the blunderbuss, realized I was short on pipes, went downstairs to try to get them out of the sink, and of course the pipe wrench stopped working. So, now we'll see what we have in here. So exciting. Oh, before we do that, let's go in here, since we're about to do a looting, and give ourselves quality Joe. That'll up the quality of whatever we find when we find stuff, so let's find stuff! Alright, hunting stock, magnum grip, and shotgun long barrel. We're going to leave all them in there, because I'm actually going to use this gun locker as a gun locker to hold all of my gun parts. So, that, 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 that. That's looking good for now. Boom, boom, boom. And I'll come in and organize these off-camera at some point. At some point. I'm not the most organized person in the world. Okay, so this is what we've got left in the way of supplies. I made lots of gunpowder out of the um, nitrate powder and the coal. Uh, and that's what I used to make the blunderbuss ammo. Uh, at this point, what we need to do... Let's have breakfast. Uh, at this point, what we need to do is we need to start doing some looting, so we need to find places. I need paper so I can make more ammunition. Uh, I need more materials, obviously. But, you know, for day three, this is actually a really good place to be, and I'm really happy with where we're at. Now that I'm done, e done eating... Starting day two, food 100, water 100, level 5, wellness 103. I'm really warm, but that's because I'm next to a fire. Um, player Zombies killed 13, player death is a zero. Longest life, two hours and 14 minutes of gameplay, so we're doing good. Um, I made all of the forged iron because I want to make some iron tools, but I don't want to make them yet. What I did last night was I <clears throat> made as many of these as I can. This guy is out of cube because that's the one that I was using to um, crack the safe open. So we went from the 130 that we were last night, which would be about um, 26 block damage, up to 27. So step in the right direction, but I really want to get these over 200 before I bother using the, the forged iron to make super tools. So, did you finish cooking before you run out? Yes, perfect. Alright, these can all just stay there then. That's good. Um, actually, somebody was suggesting this since I have so much coal at the moment. Putting the coal in there to cook on instead. Does that work? Uh, I don't... Reasonably, this shouldn't. I don't think the temperature is hot enough, but... We'll give that a shot, too. It does. Okay. So, good to know. If I'm running low on wood because I'm building like a madman, then I can use the coal. Alright, so... Do 
Do I have any food to bring with me? Uh, I don't want to bring the sandwiches. Honestly, I'd rather be kind of hungry for the day than to bring those sandwiches. So, we're going to go like that. We're going to drop this off because I'm not going to need it. Uh, we're going to keep the first aid stuff. We're going to keep the pills. We're going to keep the springs. We're going to try to make a blunderbuss on the fly. And we're going to bring the water so that we can bring that and maybe refill bottles as necessary. And we're going to bring the gunpowder just in case I find paper so that we can make more blunderbuss ammo. Now, there was some noise around outside because, you know, that always happens when you're running a forge in your base, which is something you should never ever do, especially when you're trying to survive. So, we're going to go and see what neighbors were being noisy. Oh, but before we do, remember we just made those 84 arrows? Let's go ahead and make a new bow and a new reinforced club. So, damage difference, 1977, 2418, like it, and 1153 to 1269, more than a point, so, some good stuff there. All right. Haven't really done anything in the way of making clothing or armor yet. Um, honestly, I've had been too, too busy doing all of my other crafting. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I will be with you in just a second. Need to make sure I lock the door first. Now, I have choice of arrows. I can either use the regular ones or the, or the iron ones. I really just want to kind of use these up. I haven't needed, you know, the hardcore iron ones yet, and it's not yet a dog day, so I'm not too worried about that. Doink! Whoa, 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 not nice, not nice. That's too much excitement for first thing in the morning. There's some less, there's a little bit of food for the day. We are healing due to the amount of food that we've eaten, so we're fine. Alright, so I'm thinking that the first thing we want to do today is actually take care of this guy over here, that hunting lodge, and then probably come down here and wait, that was the hunting lodge. What was what was there? Only one way to find out. Oh, graveyard. That's good to have. I mean, really good location for a base. start. I see one over there. I see one a lot closer this way. <laughs> Stay down. Search it, search it, search it. Don't have time. 
guessing the plant was in my way. on the ridge, but I don't think he's going to come after us. That's Crawler, and also going to be living behind us somewhere. Crawler's off to the left. Oh, that would have been a headshot if she didn't step up on the thing. No, 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 Shit. Bleeding, 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 bleeding. Okay. Done bleeding. Back to kicking ass. Again, walking up on things when I have headshots. <laughs> doink! And doink. Wondering why I was aiming at his knee, I wanted to make sure that I was hitting him and not the dead lady. I would much rather put these into his head, but I was concerned about the body position. There we go. Okay. Nothing. Sensing a trend. Three of a kind. They're working on a really good hand here. Go to you first, so you don't despawn. Ah, I'm only red. And then he explodes. Okay. Now, because I know there's going to be a gun case in here, there's always one case in here. I'm going to grab a few materials before we go in, which will allow me to make a couple more stone tools. Oven. Nothing. Cabinet. Bottles. I'll take them. Can. We'll go that one. So, at this point right now on my loot, what I'm looking for mostly is going to be food um, and probably paper and reading supplies. Building mats would be nice, but if I don't get them, I'm not going to be terribly upset. Paper! Paper is a lot of bullets. Let's go ahead and make some more blunderbuss ammo. Uh, use the stone version. Uh -huh. 
throwing as much as I can into blunderbuss ammo so that number one, when I have the blunderbuss, I can shoot it a lot. Number two, because that's what's going to help to up my gunsmithing skill, I believe, just like making any bullets. Uh, it's kind of like the, you know, the arrows of guns. So that should make my blunderbuss a little bit better than base form. You are useless. Well, not useless, but useless at the moment. There we go. All right. Let's keep cranking away on those blunderbuss shells. You are a repair kit? Nope, a glass panel. Uh, you can wait. Or I can pick you up. That works, too. Apparently having point hitting problems. I hope that's that empty. Alright, so here's what I mean. Like, right now, I can have that one piece of brass and that one piece of brass both taking up a slot. Or I can scrap them. Now, it's possible I'll find more candlesticks and more trophies, and it would have been more beneficial to hold the open slot. However, since I can't hold anything else at the moment... just to straight up scrap them, in my opinion. Your mileage may vary. Um, more interested in the metal. Ooh, much better mining hat. Probably should have saved that one just in case. Again, lead trophy. I'm just gonna scrap into lead. And let me get rid of the sandwich. We're gonna scrap that. We're gonna bring that. Uh, I'm not gonna bring the meat because I don't want to attract that much heat to me at the moment. Iron arrowhead. Wait, I actually still have one in my inventory, so boom, there we go. Uh, which reminds me, if I now have feathers, let's free up a slot. There we go. So all that's done. Now we're just going to come in here, and beat through this door, which is going to take a minute, and then there will be a gun case inside, which I'll be through, which will take several more minutes, and then I'll show you what's going to be in it. and a bottle of beer later. What do we got? Uh, some good parts, good parts. 
people are wandering around outside. That's fine too. You know, I can take one of those. And I will check all the parts for quality later on. Right now, I just want to have them. I can bring them home, scrap them at my leisure, whatever we need to do. So that's going to take care of this place. Right, because I got... I got everything over here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So... We're going to be done for here. We got some stuff that we were looking for, so that's that's good. Now, if we go around to the top of this one, there's a ladder over here. And if we climb up the ladder, up on the roof, up on the roof, We've got 18 more feathers. All right, so where do we head next, guys? I get, I mean, that's our water source. That's pretty much all of our paths. Um, I'm thinking we keep heading this way and do a little bit more exploring. Uh, that'll also give us the opportunity to refill some water while we're heading there. I just saw another, there we go. bottles and turn them into four bottles of nasty water so that when we get back we can turn them into four bottles of not nasty water and we're going to get some more stone and some more iron and I'll see you as soon as I blow this up that's already taking less time and I don't even have my tools done yet it did however do some damage to the cells so hopefully That'll figure itself out. We're going to get away from that because that noise is annoying. Alright, so... My inventory is full, so we're going to do a little trick here. Because I want to get my tool smithing up, and I've got a ton of wood. And I've got a decent amount of plant fiber. I'm going to get more, and I've got a ton of stone now. So what we're going to do is... Knowing that it takes two of each of those to make an axe, and knowing that we have an entirely full inventory, we're going to do some crafting on the fly. Alright, so, stone axe. Right now I can make uh, 37 of them. So we're going to do that. Now they're going to have nowhere to go. So it's going to tell me in a moment on the bottom of the screen, right above my bar, that I need to clear space. We hit Q intentionally this time to drop that guy. And it'll do it again. And the entire time we're walking, we can just keep throwing axes and crafting new ones. So... We're going to go on a little bit of a walkabout. I'm going to keep leaving a trail of axes in our wake. Uh, or we're going to deal with a pair of zombies first. Axes are going to have to wait. Two sisters out for a walk together. Isn't that lovely? Uh, what's lovely is when my aiming works. I think I might have hit a random board. I'm seeing more movement off to the left. There we go. Get these out quick. Uh, 
Uh, nothing. That's fine. I can't sort anything anyway. And water. Nice. Alright. And you, but you're heading the other way, so that's fine. We're going to go back to walkies. Doesn't look like a town, but at least looks like a couple cars to lose. Excuse me, sir. Is that your car? Are you doing something to that vehicle that you should not be doing? I'd like to see some identification, please. Oh, you know what? You can you can pass on the identification. You don't need to get any closer. That's a waste of time because I'm literally not carrying any of those at the moment because my inventory is already so full. You know, you just cannot, cannot let a good hoe go to waste. So we're going to have to pick that up. And that means on day four, we're looking at starting farming already. This is an insane playthrough. And an engine. An engine. Seriously. Just sitting there for me to grab. It's an engine. This is... This is unbelievable. I'm actually going to have to scrap gun parts just to just to try to have some space. How many more of these things are we crafting right now? Uh, another 10. Uh, another 20. Well, guess we better get to it then. Alright, so this road goes that way for an undetermined length of time. And that one goes that way for an undetermined length of time. And that one goes that way for an undetermined length of time. Uh, that looks like that's a main road. This looks like it's an offshoot. So, and I think I might see something up there. So, we're gonna head to the thing. Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you for directions? Oh, sorry. Not a sir. My mistake. Although, you know, you might still identify as a sir. That's entirely your choice. I'm not one to judge. I am, however, one to shoot you in the face. Uh, empty glass jar. I will take one of those. And the vitamins we will just use. I can't believe we found an engine already. That means I am really close to having a cement mixer and just building the crud out of things in cement because if I already have an engine and my skill is already really, really high, I am a step away from buying concrete already. So this this could become an interesting day. Nothing. Not complaining. Doing really good so far. Bear. Bear ahead of us. Bear. Bear is not good. We do not want to mess with a bear. Too many things to hold. There we go. Just ignore us, Mr. Bear. 
we're going to go nice and wide. We're not challenging you in any way. Okie doke. Lots of burned out cars. It's a little overcast today, so I apologize if the picture isn't the best. I'm just glad that we've got this headlamp so that you guys have a much better view of what's going on. Checking some trash. Scrap can. I'm just going to scrap it because I think I don't have any spaces for cans at the moment. More springs. Very nice. Scrap the trophy. I have no more room in my building queue, so I can't even scrap the trophy. Alright, we are going to cancel these for the moment. Then we are going to scrap the trophy. Then we are going to make myself an iron club. While we drop that. Uh, and then we can come back and make more. No, we can't. We don't have plant fiber. Because I had no place to put the plant fiber. Let's fix that. Oh, these are the hard decisions. And I know no matter which one I pull down, someone's going to make a post saying exactly why I did the wrong one. And they're right. Stone axes, 11 more of them, alright, ooh, it is 8 o'clock already, wow, I'm glad that I just looked up at the time, because that's... That, that's late, and we are far, far, far from home, so we are just going to head directly back to the house and hope that we can make it there before 10 o'clock.
made it just in time for night time. So we are going to drop off some gun parts and we'll sort those out later. Clean some water real quick. And throw everything in here that I'm not planning on using tonight. Uh, I managed to get my, you know, tools up to about a two, almost 250. I'll probably turn these into another 17 tonight just to try to get over the hump, uh, at which point I'll have some nice shiny iron tools for us tomorrow. We found 12 steel arrows, which is neat. Uh, we have, you know, a small engine, which is not a good quality, but it doesn't matter for some things, so that's fine. And we've got a map, and I've got some pasta, so I have some traveling food. All in all, this was a really good day, so... We accomplished a couple things. We cleared a building. I didn't get as far as I thought I would, but I'm going to take it. This worked out pretty well. So we are ending day three. I'm going to make those stats look a little bit better first. Okay, so we are going to be ending day three for you. Right here, we are. Food 93, water 100, water and food pretty much sussed. We're going to be fine with those for a while. Uh, level 6, wellness is 104 and rising. Uh, zombie kills 26, player deaths is 0. We are three hours into this experiment and still going strong. Um, we've got a really good bow. We got some good weapon skills. I'm still looking for some pipes so that we can make the blunderbuss. Um, I gotta see if I can make the pipe from the forge. I might be able to do that overnight. I'm probably being dumb and I can just do that. So we'll, we will check. I will make a couple more tools and we will see what we look like tomorrow. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the show. Please like, please subscribe, please find a safe place to bed down and make sure the zombies don't get you. I will see you in the morning. Yeah. <laughs>